moving out. They're using the airport to evacuate embassy staff and others desperate to leave. The United States is sending another 1,000 troops to assist with the U.S. evacuation effort. More than 60 countries have now signed a statement saying all Afghans and other citizens who want to leave Afghanistan must be allowed to depart. They say those in power are responsible for the protection of life and property and the restoration of order. Graham Satchel reports on the latest developments. On board a plane due to leave Kabul overnight, but at the last minute they're told the flight won't be going. Passengers are forced to rejoin the chaos outside. There is panic and fear everywhere. For 20 years, Afghanistan has had stability, democracy and relative safety. It's all ended in a matter of days. A lucky few have made it out. This is Delhi Airport and a mix of relief, anger and despair. I can't believe the world abandoned Afghanistan. <laughs> Our friends are going to get killed. They're going to kill us. Our women are not going to have any more rights. The Taliban, forced from power by Western troops two decades ago, are back. They claim to have taken over every government department, including this, the presidential palace in Kabul. Just hours earlier, the former president, Ashraf Ghani, at the same desk. He's now fled to Uzbekistan. In a statement, he said he's left to avoid bloodshed. Kabul is a city on the move, residents desperate to escape. Fear of what is to come has gripped every level of society, including former government ministers. Deep down in my heart, I keep telling myself I won't have to pay the price for joining a government position. Uh, but now I might, I might face consequences that I never even dreamed of. Uh, and I guess that's the price that we pay for trying to make this world a little better. Uh, than when we came to it, and particularly Afghanistan. British troops have now arrived in Kabul to evacuate UK nationals and Afghans who worked with them. It's thought around 4,000 in total are eligible to be airlifted out. Criticism of the chaos now engulfing Afghanistan is widespread. Parliament will be recalled on Wednesday to debate the crisis. <laughs> A protest outside the White House in Washington. America has long argued its troops couldn't stay in Afghanistan forever and public opinion supports troop withdrawal. But serious questions are now being asked. Why was so much money spent, so many military lives lost, to simply allow the Taliban to walk back into power? The air over Kabul is full of helicopters as diplomats and embassy staff make their escape. On the ground, the people wait with growing fear. It was not meant to end like this.